So we're looking for the first point, center court, Hilton Head Racquet Club, and the first in a series of 11. Four men, four women, four from the United States, and there's that first point of the very first match, Poncho, the semifinal, men's singles. Labor, who were... Play within yourself, trying mostly to hit the ball in the center uh, to get the nervousness out of you. A great shot by John, not showing any nervous reaction there. 15 all. He really, he's not a hitter off that backhand, Chris. Like the players, a, a globe, globe traveling official. Now there it is, a beautiful, mm -hmm. perfect hey, backhand no passing way. shot off of Rodney's big serve. Down. Concentrates tremendously on every shot. Now there's a perfect example of the tap spin backhand down the line. Dino. Wasn't hit too accurate. Officials than it does players. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> Defense by Laver. Ooh. <laughs> a little offense, too, right? Well, this mm. is what I say. You know, Rodney is a hitter. He's a shot maker. And you have an intelligent, strong player against a strong little shot maker. And uh, we've seen evidence of what the two can do. In Uh, here you go. You just can't hit the ball any better than this. I didn't think he could get back to it, but he's <laughs> deceiving, isn't he? Rod gets back very, very well. Uh, he jumps off the ground. He, that left-handed hook on his serve is very effective. Oh. You see, when he goes back for an overhead like that, it almost looks like his body position he should hit the ball in the other direction. So he, he purposely hit the hook to throw John off. Baseline rally. I think the boys are beginning to feel their way around the baseline right now. Great Davis Cup player, John Newcomb. Oh, a good retrieve. Rodney running wide. He's almost with the paying uh, customers. <laughs> well, he cocked his wrist back like he was going to hit down the line, and then he just ran away from the ball and hit it cross court almost. Turn a serve low, a lob, tried to fake it. John got to it, really hit it, and made Laver jump right off the ground. Oh. And the shot that Laver tried there was not to do too much with that shot, but to get it quickly to Newcomb's feet, which he did, and forced John to have to hit a good volley, and John netted it. But those are uh, very difficult shots for anyone to 15, make, and the pro 30. player usually tries to hit it all out quite a bit. So He's probably asking me, well, what are you doing, you stupid dope? Swinging at a ball that's out. Oh. And he got caught off the wrong foot there. 30, 40. He's in trouble, and he de he deserves to be in trouble on this one. When he tries to go in on radio, he starts hitting everything harder. And, uh, you know, he hits a ball hard enough to begin with, so you become even more frustrated trying to return his shots. Another perfect stroke. Nothing fancy, just stroke and turning his body cross court. Just a nice smooth stroke, which shows you that you get power and it throws the rhythm off. Oh. He wouldn't do that. No. <laughs> You're not gonna find Rodney making too many mistakes. He's 40, 30. Too experienced. He just sidesteps into the ball. For those of you who want to see the footwork and the body movement, right straight down into the court. Oh. Out game in the first set. The Labor six games to three. Among the spectators, golfer Lanny Watkins enjoying it, along with Ford Motor Company Vice President Ben Bidwell. 
At courtside, let's join our colleague, former United States Davis Cup captain Donald Dell. John Newcomb. John, uh, you've lost the first set here, and you seem to be laboring a little bit on your first serve. Uh, do you feel you're pressing a lot, or can we expect any changes in the second set? Uh, probably got to slow down a little. Uh, um, uh, uh, Rod's, you know, top spinning and slicing the ball, and when the ball bounces, I've just uh, seem to be mistiming the ball a little bit. I'll try and get used to that during this set. I can get used to when, he, when the ball's top spinning, how it's coming off the court, and the slice, how it's coming off the court. The slice comes off slow, or the top spin's coming off faster. Thanks, John. Well, here's the stats on the serves, and John should actually have a, a bigger advantage here to be leading in this set or this match. Three all. Welcome back to the first match of the World Invitational Tennis Classic. Rod Laver, who won the first set six games to three, and here in the second set, the games are three all. An overall prize total of $135,000, with the winner getting $40,000. Four men, four women, the eight greatest tennis players in the world. Here's the seventh game of the second set. out of habit. Strong for serve. 30-15. serve. Well, he's recovered. The hat goes on now, and Rod looked up at the sun off uh, to the left. Oh. Well, very offensive on that one. So... Line play. Mm. Is this going to be a hard oh, one? Oh, what an incredible <laughs> shot. Both players uh, playing very patiently from the baseline. Actually, and John moving to the forehand wide after five or six, the ball right in the center of the racket for a perfect placement. by John Newcomb. Rob was able to get back and hit it away from Games his body for a perfect four. shot. The games are now... <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Game, Labor. You can see Labor just sort of dancing to the ball confidently and John Game sitting up there wondering, well, what's he going to do? Four. Hits it down the line, just touched the tape for a let ball, but it didn't make any difference. It was a clear winner. There you go, and he's just near the perfect shot to the opening. For Tenth game underway. Rod Laver leads five games to four, second set. The whole court. Well, the ball bounced twice. Uh, not up, the umpire called, and... Rodney set that point up very well and made a safe kind of a drop shot. Now leads 15 love. He can win this game. It's all over, Pancho. Three points from victory. Mm -hmm. Pretty good spot to be in. Dangerous spot only from the fact he could get overconfident. Oh. 15 all. Good return. He just misjudged it by a couple inches. He had a good shot going for him. 15 all. 
changing balls. Sometimes one ball will looks like it'll fly a little faster than the other, and that's what you want with the serve. Out. John hit a return of serve there, a little bit mishit. It caught Rodney in a defensive 30. position. John immediately realizing this took the offensive and, and placed the volley over, putting Rod in trouble. 15-30. Beautifully moved to. There it is. Pressure, pressure, pressure. First overhead smash that Rod Laver has missed, but the importance of the point can cause something like 15, that. 1540. And John has two chances here of getting back into the second set. 1540. Oh, just almost trickled over. 30, 40. 30, 40. Uh, That'll flatter their systems a bit. Both players, ball like that, you never really know if it's going to go over or, or not, and you get very anxious and right on your toes because you have to be right up to cover it if it does. Rod was there. First serve, deep, good. Great, great point by Rod Laver. I mean, John Newcomb, but I think that he thought the serve was deep. And he was Game a bit hesitant, and then he was caught. He hit the backhand perfect cross court, but John was there to, to volley it off. John has a great forehand volley, doesn't normally. Here's Laver moving wide and hit it perfect cross court, but as I said, John was on the other side. Rod's got great footwork. Six games to five, he could go into the lead. No chance. Force deep into his backhand and forced to hit yes. to Rodney's backhand volley, and Rod's backhand is really a super shot. Score is now deuce. A super match. Mm. Both players, and especially John, thinking the ball was a fault. They played it, and then John was a little bit early and just whipped it cross-court wide. Strong serve, and Rodney doing very well to get it back. John's in trouble again. Point for service break for Rod Laver. Games are five all in the second set. Well, that one is in the air. And a big game victory for Rod Laver, leading six to... In addition to the $40,000 first prize in the World Invitational Tennis Classic, the winner will get this 1974 Ford Thunderbird, a beauty. And our very first match is a beauty. Rod Laver in the near court against John Newcomb. And Pancho, here we go, into the 12th game, second set. Serious game. Especially for Rod Laver, he was leading 5-4 with a chance to close this match out. And John pulled back, and now he's leading 6-5. Just hold his serve for the match. A good, solid serve there. He seemed to hook his wrist right around the ball and put some added spin, and it just swung away from John. 15-love. Another good... No, called out. It looked good from here, Chris, but, uh, you know, just a little miss is enough. Good second out. serve, but a weak return love. by John Newcomb going out, and 30 love. Rod Laver now two points away from leading this competition. And two points away from one victory point. Oh, yes, a great movement by Rod Laver, sensing victory, wanting to close it out quickly. Now, three match points. He's like a cat at the net, and uh, John's in quite a bit of trouble now. Both players concentrating here, as you can see. What? First service.
Good serve by Rod. And he moves in to hit his rather favorite volley cross court to end the match 6 3, 7 5. Rod Laver over John Newcomb. 6 3. And down the court side is our colleague Donald Bell.